Okay, there are a couple of things that we need to talk about before we actually begin working some example problems here. The first thing is, is that we're going to start seeing a number uh, or a letter that represents a number and that is E. E is in egg. E is a transcendental number, very, very much like pi. Um, it's something that happens very often in nature, in a lot of the you know the life, the biologies, the uh, chemistry, you know, in in a lot of the the research and um, and just the the um, calculations that they have to do with real world situations. A lot of times, this specific number just kept coming up and coming up. So just like pi when they were working with circles that number 3.14 blah 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 kept coming up over and over and over again so they assigned the Greek letter pi to it so that we all know when we see pi what that means so this this number um, came up over and over and over again again and this number is 2.718 and then it goes on forever and ever and ever well, because it came up so often, they said, hmm, maybe this is important, so let's assign the letter E to it. Your calculator has two different E buttons on it, and so I want to show you where those are so that whenever we start using E, you'll be familiar with where to find it on your calculator. Um, first of all, there is just a plain E button and that button is right above your division symbol you should see either in blue or in yellow a little E right there if you just need to use E you would use that in order to access it you'll have to activate that menu by hitting second and then the um, division symbol and you see on my calculator it placed a little E now if I hit enter it'll tell you E is the number 2.718 blah 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 this goes on forever and ever with no repetition um, no pattern whatsoever so uh, makes it very very similar to pi it's just a different number um, also we're going to be doing things that are E raised to a uh, power so there is a key on your calculator again right here um, above the button that says LN on it you should see an E to the X that is your E raised to the button so in order to access it again we're gonna have to hit second to activate that top menu uh, or that top keyboard so I hit second and then LN and you'll see on my screen it put E raised to the something so now we if we were graphing we could put in an X if we were evaluating we could put in a number let me just put in to the first power remember anything to the first power is itself so we should get and we do 2.718 blah 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 so become very familiar with where these two keys are because you're going to be using them quite a bit from here on out okay there is one other thing that we need to go over um, before we're uh, done and if you need to pause this at this time and make some notes about um, what I have here you absolutely can um, I just it tried to kind of just show it to you on a calculator but we also have a rule here and this rule says if a to the u equals a to the v then u equals v this is going to be crucial as we start moving forward and solving some exponentials what this is talking about is this if I were to have something that said 2 to the uh, fifth power equals 2 to the x power the only way this could be a true statement is if the exponents were the exact same also that's what this is saying if the bases are the same then the exponents must be the same also so keep that in mind as we go through some of our examples